two things about clear choice. Number one, here's why I think that they are priced so high. And number two, here's why I also think that you should price your fees lower than them. Unless your unique value proposition is so clearly defined that it just blows them out of the water. All of us know, at least if you, if you don't know by now, Clear Choice sold for $1.1 billion uh, not too long ago to Aspen Dental. So obviously they have a lot of investors in private equity that they need to make happy. That really doesn't change from before. That's kind of always been there for Clear Choice. But the other thing is obviously is, you know, you guys understand as well, it's a lot to, to really make these things fit really good at the end. They have to come back for appointment after appointment after appointment. And that's the same thing for the majority of us and, and the workflows that we have in the office. They also have an oral surgeon and a prosthodontist and, and they really go deep on those two things. We have the specialist to do the surgery and we have the specialist to do the restorative part as well that's gonna make it fit perfect. So obviously they're going to create the value around those two things as far as why they charge the fees that they charge. Now, here's my thing to you. Most of you, I don't know if any of you have private equity that you're responsible for. I think that positioning your fees lower than clear choice is fantastic, but also adding value on on top of what they do. If you can position right here, you can always anchor high on the fees of clear choice, which hopefully you saw my video about anchoring high on the fees of clear choice, stacking the value, and then coming in at a lower fee. You'll win a lot more cases, especially if you know they've gone to clear choice or heard of clear choice. You'll win a lot more cases that way. If by chance you're, you're you're very competitively priced at the exact same thing really as clear choice you really really need to clearly define your unique value proposition and why it's worth coming to you and not clear choice if you simply say you know i do it all in one place so do they if you simply say well i'm really good at it so are they i mean they have an oral surgeon and a prosthodontist working in, in the spot. So you really need to come through with that unique value proposition if you're going to be there. The other thing is, is Clear Choice has done a lot of market education for us. That's a fantastic thing about them. So because they've run so many commercials, because they've, they've done so much advertising and education about dental implants, a lot of people know how much it costs at Clear Choice already, which is again why I, you know, if you can come in and you can stack additional value and then still come in at a little bit less, you'll win their cases. Some of you might think, well, no, I, I can do just as good a job. My fees are going to be just as high. That's your choice. You just really need to be able to come through explaining your unique value proposition.